Hello today's video we have the following content. Executing Judge, Luo Jin brings a textbook performance of a national second level actor. In the torrent of the rule of law, a TV series called Executing Judge is like a shining pearl, attracting the attention of countless viewers. This rule of law drama starring the powerful actor Luo Jin not only won the audience's applause with its tense plot and wonderful acting skills, but also triggered people's deep thinking about the spirit of the rule of law, professional ethics and social justice in the growth and transformation of the character Qi Lin in the play. However, in this highly anticipated work, there are some controversies and revelations hidden. Let us uncover the story behind Executing Judge together. Since its broadcast, Executing Judge has attracted the attention of many viewers with its unique rule of law themes and compact plots. In this drama, Qi Lin, played by Luo Jin, as a young judge, presents a real and touching image of a judge to the audience with his firm belief in the rule of law and selfless dedication. Every choice he makes is full of respect for the law and pursuit of justice, which is deeply shocking. Qi Lin's image was not created overnight, but was gradually shaped in the process of executing cases again and again. In the face of the old lies throwing tantrums, he was able to cleverly resolve the deadlock, in the face of the civic hit for Prince of the owner of the luxury car that caused the accident, he was able to lead everyone to compare the models one by one and finally crack the clues. These plots not only show Qi Lin's intelligence and firm will, but also let the audience see the power of the rule of law and the glory of justice. However, in this highly acclaimed work, there are inevitably some controversies and doubts. First of all, there is a question about the role of the presiding judge played by Yang Zishan. Some viewers believe that her external image does not fit the role well enough, and the performance is not ups and downs enough. In addition, some plots in the play are also accused of having logical loopholes, such as the problem of signing the house mortgage and killing going to the horse farm to find evidence, which have aroused widespread discussion among the audience. In response to these controversies and doubts, it is necessary for us to conduct an in-depth analysis of the plot logic of executive judge. First of all, on the issue of character creation, we should see that each character has its own unique personality traits and growth trajectory. Although the role of the presiding judge played by Yang Zishan is controversial, it is these controversies that make the character more three-dimensional and real. Secondly, regarding the issue of plot logic, we should start from the overall situation and understand the screenwriter's intentions and creative ideas, rather than just being limited to a certain detail or plot. In addition to the logic of the plot, the performance of the actors is also a highlight of executive judge. As a powerful actor, Luo Jin successfully portrayed the role of Qi Lin with his years of acting experience and superb acting skills. Every look and every movement of his is full of power and appeal, which moved the audience. In addition, the performances of other actors in the play are equally outstanding, and they jointly present a high-quality rule of law drama to the audience. Executive Judge is not only a TV series on the theme of the rule of law, but also a work that conveys the spirit of the rule of law and social justice. In this drama, we see the judges' unremitting efforts to maintain the dignity and justice of the law, we see their love and awe of their profession, we also see their sense of responsibility and mission to society. These elements together constitute the core values of executive judge, and also allow the audience to deeply feel the importance of the spirit of the rule of law and social justice while enjoying the plot. In summary, as a TV series on the theme of the rule of law, executive judge has performed well in terms of plot, character creation, and actor performance. It is not just an entertainment work, but also an important carrier for conveying the spirit of the rule of law and social justice. Through this drama, we can not only enjoy the wonderful plot and performance, but also deeply feel the power of the spirit of the rule of law and social justice. I hope that more such works will appear in the future, bringing more thoughts and inspirations to the audience. Next news. The executive judge, the judge can't save Luo Jin, who has no choice but to take on relatives, and the lines are forced and the performance is poor. The plot of the TV series executive judge is really getting more and more attractive. Every episode is like a relay race, with one difficult case after another, which is simply dazzling, especially the plot twists, which are simply amazing. In the story, the protagonist Liu Zeguang is heavily in debt because of an accidental car accident. His father Liu Chuan obviously has enough financial strength to compensate, but he stubbornly believes that his son is an adult and should take responsibility himself. Faced with the reality that his son may go to jail, he chose to stand by coldly. The family conflict behind this makes people feel sad and moved. After all, who says that parents don't love their children? Their love is sometimes so deep that it makes people cry. 
The charm of this drama is really hard to resist, but as the plot deepens, the plots of relatives are getting more and more. Although some plots seem a bit deliberate, even Luo Jin, whose acting skills have always been online, seems a bit overwhelmed, which makes people worry about the direction of the whole plot. The reason I watched this drama at first was purely because of the strong cast, the collision of the powerful combination of Luo Jin and Yang Zixin, and the participation of veteran actors such as Serena and Zhao Jin. For example, they played a couple again after little days, which made people look forward to it. Especially Ki Runayu, played by Serena, has dramatic tension when she appears. When Chu Yun of the Execution Bureau led the team to seal up the store, she did not show any weakness and confronted him. However, when she learned that her son Fang Kiang might be involved in the serious consequences of forging a signature, her role change made people both sympathetic and helpless. What is even more surprising is that familiar faces in the play keep appearing, such as Ning Jitli, Zhang Zilin, Su Jie, etc. These familiar faces make the audience feel as if they are in a big family. If they don't follow the drama, they will miss a visual and emotional feast. In general, Execution Judge not only has exciting cart duels, but also rich and complex character relationships. Whether it is the growth of the protagonist or the outstanding performance of the supporting roles, it makes people unable to stop. Although some parts are handled a little stiffly, overall, this drama is still a masterpiece worth watching again and again. In Chuan, backdoors are almost non-existent, so Kirunai was taken away by law enforcement, which must have been an unexpected blow to him. He probably never dreamed that his son's trouble would eventually have to be cleaned up by his nephew Qilin. Fang Kiang is really a stubborn person, with no real skills, but a terrible temper. Other families raise children to take care of their old age, but he is a complete parasite. He often quarrels with others and escalates to fighting. If Qi Lin hadn't appeared in time, the scene would have been enough for him. Even so, Fang Kiang had no regrets at all, but looked very self-important. Speaking of actor Fang Kiang, I recognized his actor at a glance lessons. This guy graduated from the famous Beijing Film Academy, and is also a contracted artist of Luo Jin Studio. He is definitely a member of Luo Jin's trusted team. Li Zins often appears in Luo Jin's works. For example, in The Long River of the World, he plays Jin Xiaoyu, the son of Jin Fu. This character is very upright and is not inferior to Wang His Huang in acting. His acting skills are quite online. For example, in Reconnaissance Heroes, he plays an 18-year-old soldier who fought in the Korean War. In order to complete the blocking mission, he died heroically and even had his legs blown off. The portrayal of this role shows his profound acting skills. In the work Executive Judge, Li Zins played again, and it can be seen that Luo Jin really did his best to support him. But this time, Luo Jin seemed to have encountered a challenge that was difficult to promote. Although Li Zins's role attracted much attention, it did not seem to achieve the expected effect. Li Zins's image has changed a lot. Everyone knows that for actresses, body management is very important. When playing the role of Fang Kiang, she obviously gained a lot of weight, which made her look fuller than the actual role. However, for another character, Jin Xiaoyu, his hairstyle design is quite accurate, not to mention Fang Kiang's refreshing short head. In contrast, Fang Kiang's image seems a little insufficient. In terms of acting, Fang Kiang's performance is very nervous. He seems weak when he should be tough, such as in the internet cafe. He was the first to provoke, but he showed no decisiveness and lacked the necessary ruthlessness, which made people shake their heads. When Qi Lin told him that his aunt was in trouble, his reaction was even more puzzling. He seemed to be indifferent to such news, and even thought that he had done nothing wrong. His empty eye seemed to be watching an insignificant play, which made people unable to get involved. Only when he learned that he might go to jail did his expression suddenly become serious, but this was not enough to be called a delicate performance, but more like a mechanical reaction in the script. In the interaction with his mother Kirunayu, his performance was even more stiff. Whether it was dialogue or emotional expression, it seemed like he was reciting the lines rigidly, and even the sarcasm lacked the emotional depth it should have, like a machine that only knew how to follow the rules. In general, from the current role, the role of Fang Kiang seems to have deviated from the original villain setting, and is more like a rough version of a street gangster. What do you think? Did the characterization of this role disappoint you or give you expectations? Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel,